Okay, welcome back to the training. Frank Calabro Jr. Going to be going over some very powerful strategy in this particular video. I'm going to show you guys my daily routine, my social media distribution daily routine. This is exactly what I do on a daily basis. Pay close attention. Take meticulous notes. There's going to be millions of dollars in the details, and you may want to watch this video multiple times because you're going to miss stuff. And also, um, uh, um, I want you to download an app, guys. I want you to download an app called Instaquote, okay? Instaquote. And there's other apps that are similar to this, but I've got this on my phone, and I'm going to show you what you can do with this thing. You can actually take any photograph, and you can just put writing on top of it, overlay it. You can. There's multiple things you can do with it. It's very user-friendly. It's simple to use. It's easy to use, and it's going to allow you to... Uh, throw some stuff out there on your social media and just gather up more more distribution, more followers, more likes, comments, and shares, and all that kind of cool stuff. And this thing, you can get it with uh, uh, you Apple users or you uh, you Android users. It doesn't matter. You guys can get it. Find it. Instaquote. Download it. This app. The professional version. I bought the professional version. I think it's $3.00. Spend three bucks. It'll be the best three bucks you ever spend. And like I said, there's other apps that do the same thing, but this is the one that I use. It's so simple. I keep it right on the front of my phone so it's right there handy so I can use it quickly and all that kind of cool stuff. So Instaquote, go ahead and grab that app and download it onto your phone. And you can create, you can just take a photograph and you can create and put little captions and quotes and you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this little app, okay? And this is just a simple little example there's different fonts there's different colors there's all kind of stuff guys you name it you can do it with this little app and then you can share these images up on your social media sites okay and this is really a quack a quick simple way for you to brand yourself and to get some stuff out there uh because you always want original content guys you want to you want to lean towards being original you want to be yourself you want to be the real you okay and this is a good way to do that, guys, to, to be yourself, is to grab this little app, and you can grab your images and your uh, your selfies and all that kind of mess and just throw stuff up there. Just throw up whatever you're feeling, whatever you're thinking about. Okay, now, here you go. Watch this, guys, and watch this close. Absorb this. Take meticulous notes. Took me years to figure this out, okay? Years, but here's the good thing. It's not, it's not going to take you years to figure this out. You can figure this out now, today, going forward. Here are the simple steps that you got to follow, okay? And it really is simple. And this applies to all of the social media sites, all of them. I don't care which one you like. And you better pick your favorite, whatever your favorite is. Your favorite could be Facebook. Your favorite could be Instagram. It could be LinkedIn. It could be, um, uh, what are the other ones? Twitter. Twitter's another one, guys. I'm, really, I'm, I'm just really starting to get into Twitter. I didn't understand that thing for years, and now I love it. And I recently started using it. I just didn't use it for years. I was just, I don't understand why. I didn't understand Twitter. I didn't get it, but I get it now. But anyway, pick the one that you like the best because that's the one you're going to have to focus on. I'll show you here in a few minutes why. Um, time on site is critical. These social media sites, they know to the second how much time you are spending on these sites. The more time you spend, the more they like you. Okay, that's the bottom line. There's no shortcuts. There's no automation. There's no software you can buy. If you have software, throw it in the garbage can. The only automation that I use is Power Lead System, and I use AWeber. That's it. That's the only automation that I use, guys. And, of course, I buy paid traffic. I guess you can call that automation. But that's it. There's no automation. You can't, you can't hire a robot to do this for you, okay, or a piece of software. Now, you can hire a personal assistant and have them do this for you, okay? But it's got to be real engagement, guys. It's got to be the real thing. So this is why I say you got to pick one social media site and build it at a time. And I do certain things on all of them, and I'll show you in a moment my daily routine, but you got to spend all your time, 90% of your time, on one of these sites and get that thing to grow. That's what you really got to do, guys. It's kind of like you got you got to water plants, right? you got to water plants. What happens to those plants? After a time, they get enough sunlight, they get water. They begin to grow. Well, that's what you got to do. You got to tend your garden, guys. You got to tend to the garden, and the garden is your social media. All right. 
Time on site. Like I said, they know how many times you log in per day. They know to the second how much time you are spending on these social media sites. Now, if you post only, if you post only and then leave, they know that. They don't like that. They want engagement. They want you to like, comment, share the content on these social media sites. And the more you do this, the more exposure you're going to get. So you're going to have to live on one of these sites. I'm not kidding you guys. And I did this. Oh, I can't even count how many hours I spent on Facebook. Thousands of hours, guys. I just li- I had listen. I had nothing else to do. I was poor. I was penniless. I was broke. I had nothing else to do but live my life on Facebook. And you know what? It was worth. It was worth it. Um, I'm going to show you guys about. Fo- definitely want to follow people and friend people. Okay, we talked about this a little bit in previous videos. You've got to get up to five thousand friends. It's not an option. It's going to show that you have credibility. And that you know what you're talking about, okay? Perception. Perception is everything in this industry. It's everything in this business. You've got to have 5,000 friends, period, end of story. There's no excuses why you can't come up with 5,000 friends when there's like 2 billion people on Facebook. It's pretty easy to find business-minded entrepreneurs. They're everywhere, and they are absolutely everywhere. It's easy to find these people. Uh, definitely want to post. I'm going to post a couple things. I'll show you some things that I post. Uh, and you just don't want to just post, okay? That's dangerous. If all you do is post and then leave, like I said, I talked about this a second ago, that's not good. They don't like that. Facebook doesn't like that. None of these social media sites like that. If you just post and leave, they do not like that. They don't like you. Uh, and you, your stuff won't get a lot of engagement. A lot of stuff, some of my stuff is not getting a lot of engagement because I just haven't had time in recent weeks i've been very busy on several projects and some of my engagement is dropping off because i'm not spending enough time on these social media sites and i know how to correct it it's not a problem i know how to fix it uh you definitely want to add images images are just king and images rule i mean people just want to see a picture man they want to see a picture or they want to see a video bottom line that's what sells images sell images speak a thousand words videos sell okay you can add hashtags, which I highly recommend you do. Hashtags will put you in front of other audiences, and you'll gain more exposure. Definitely want to personalize it. I showed you that little app. You can personalize some of your postings. And just be yourself. Speak your own words. Speak your mind. And be a free human spirit. Don't try and please everyone. Don't try and be everyone's friend. Be yourself. Okay? Some people are not going to like you for whatever reason. That's their problem. That's not our problem. That's their problem. Be the person you are. The person you are is awesome. Don't ever think that you're not, not even for a second. And if people don't like you, too bad, so sad, that's their loss. Um, Like I said, you want to post, but you really want to focus on one of these things. You, I, I would suggest posting to all, which I do. I post to all my social media sites, but you really got to focus on one. Now, I've got to the point where I can focus on more than one, okay, but... I'm a little more savvy than the average person, okay? So, and, and you know, you can hire a social media engineer and have that person come to your house every day and spend hours and hours and hours and hours on your social media sites. When you get to that point, you guys can do that stuff too. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but I think I will probably be doing that in the very near future is hiring someone full-time, and they're going to basically just live on my social media sites, okay? All right, now. Let's go over to the training. Let's actually let's actually go over. We're going to walk you through my daily routine. So let's see if I can. Let's just close this out. Let's put pull up in. Uh, let's pull up in some of the social media sites. And I just posted something. Let's go over to. I'm trying to think where I want to start. Let's go over to my Facebook. Uh, I got my Facebook open. I got my LinkedIn, Twitter. We're going to talk about these ones right here for now. Just the ones that I got open. I can't cover every social media site in the world. But the good thing about it is what I'm going to show you applies to all. Okay, The rules are pretty much similar for all these sites because they all want the same thing from us. Okay, my Facebook is not. Facebook is acting crazy. Let's see if we can try and log in again. Let's attempt to log in again. Let's give that a second to come up. Okay. Now, when you first log in, here's some things. There's Jameson Palmer. I'm going to hit a like because they like when you do that. When you first, when you start liking other people's content, Facebook likes that. They love engagement. Over here to the right-hand side of the screen, you see right here, it says birthdays. 
I like to wish all my people a happy birthday every day. I like to. And you can post on their timeline or send them a personal message, right? We'll send Jeff a message right here. We'll send Jeff a message. Now, listen, if you do this, listen very close. Facebook freaks out when I do this, and they've blocked me from my account three times for doing this. The last time they blocked me for uh, over two days. They blocked me from my account from do- for doing this. And what I was doing was I was doing it too fast. I was copying and pasting and just, like, hitting the enter button real fast, and they didn't like that. They think you're using some type of software or some type of automation or something, and they freak out and they block you, kick you out of your account, put you in jail, and you can't even log in for like two days. So be very careful. Hand type it out slowly. Hit press the button that says send. Don't hit the enter key. Press the button. Do it slowly. You can even mix it up like do Andrea and then f- jump down and do Joy and then jump back up here and do the Boris. You see what I'm getting at, guys? I'm telling you, I don't know why Facebook freaks out about this, but they've locked me out of my account three times, okay? And sometimes uh, I've been thinking about not even doing this, period. If they lock me out of my account again for doing this, I won't do it no more. So I'm just trying to give you guys some pointers. All right, now, they love engagement. They just love engagement. They love when you like, comment, and share. The more like, comment, and share you can do, it's just the better off, guys. The better off, you're just going to get more exposure. You're going to get – Facebook is going to favor you more. All kinds of cool stuff, guys. And did they just they just want you to do this. Massive engagement, okay? So as much time as you can spend engaging, you want to engage, okay? All right. Now, let's. I just posted something. Let me show you something I just posted. Okay, I just posted this. Okay, everyone on planet Earth will soon have a Bitcoin wallet. Get yours free now, and then a, and then a, a call to action. I'm using a landing page. Okay, and then it says Santa Claus. You can keep to- you keep the toys. I want Bitcoin this year. Okay, pretty simple. And, that, and, and, and I'll, let's go down my wall. And then okay, let me look at this call to action. And then what I do here is I'm actually giving something away. I'm not selling anything. I'm giving away free training here. That's all I'm doing here. I'm not selling anything. Now, I do sell things on my wall all day long, but I do it in a way, and I'll give you some examples. I'm not saying, hey, everybody, join my thing, join my business, join this, join that, sign up for this. I I don't do it like that. I use reverse psychology in everything I do, and I'll I'll give you some examples. I'll give you some examples, Uh, and I post a lot of crazy stuff, guys, just crazy, crazy stuff all the time. Whatever I'm thinking, I go with my energy. If my energy tells me to say something, I say it. I don't think about it. I just do it. And sometimes things just flow out of me just nonstop. You know, here's something funny. Has anyone heard of this altcoin called USD? I hear it's, I hear it has a cap and it isn't backed by anything. Is it a scam? You know what I'm saying? And then people are laughing. I just put this up a couple minutes ago, right, and whatever. Uh, I actually seen someone else post this, and I reposted this. Um, uh, and then I, I quoted a Ric Flair saying right there, just just crazy stuff, guys. I put crazy stuff up all the time. A video I liked, I've seen this this morning, uh, streaming on YouTube on my television. I, I wrote down, Bit- Bitcoin addicts, watch it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm putting up a video right there. Uh, none of you can be first, but all of you can be next. And, uh, you know, just a lot of psychological stuff. This was something from two years ago. I just threw it back up. I was drinking a beer at, at uh, Chicken Wings, Hooters or something right there. Uh, some more Bitcoin training. I wrote a letter to Santa, told him what I wanted for Christmas this year. Do you see what I'm doing, guys? And then, you know, I put a lot of stuff up that's wealth-related. I wrote down, you know, there's no call to action here. Another 100 ounces of long-term wealth. I got another 100 ounces of uh, silver bullion came in, okay? And, you know, just stuff like that because everyone knows I'm into wealth building. So I just threw that up there, guys. Image ad marketing, okay? Now, here's something pretty cool you guys are going to want to watch. This is an email. Okay, now let's look at this. Let's look at this. This has got some real good distribution strategies and techniques built into this. This is all distribution, guys. It says, oh, my God, one million in three weeks. Or, oh, my gosh, one million in three weeks. I'll prove it inside. This is an email, and I had it posted over onto my wall, okay, from AWeber, okay? I use the AWeber emailer, guys, okay? I tell you guys what I do. I only know what I do. Now, let's just click on this because I just want to show you the flow. I want to show you the flow of this email. This is critical because I'm repurposing a um, a Facebook Live, okay? And here it is. It's a real simple letter. You know, most of my emails are 100 words or less, as you can tell. 
and I just give them the information very fast. People scan, read from left to right. I give them some bullet points. I say just enough to get them to click on my link, and then where do I send them? Watch. I send them to a, a Facebook Live, right? And listen, it's already this one's gotten 1,000 views. 1,000 views. It's a Facebook Live video I did. It's like four minutes long or something, right? Let's close this. And I'm getting likes, comments, and shares, and all kinds of stuff, right? You see this? I'm repurposing live, okay? I just I, And then when people put comments, you can comment back, and you can like, and and, and all kinds of cool stuff, right? Because you want to have engagement with your following, okay? So make sure when people leave comments, you like them. Even if people put bad stuff, like they... You know, they whine, cry, and complain. I still like it. I I didn't like. Unless it's something real negative, I, I'll delete it. But I don't care if they agree or don't agree. I don't care, man. I just, I hit like. Yeah, I like your comment. I don't care. You're actually helping me. You're helping me keep this piece of content up on the feed. So unless it's something real terrible, I'll delete it. But most times I just hit like button. Even if it's something I don't agree with, I hit the like button, okay? They're actually helping you. Your haters sometimes help you, or people that disagree with you help you sometimes. And then I got some call to actions, okay? You can see right here, I got a, a simple send me a friend request. You see that? You see that right there? I'm going to highlight it. Send me a friend request. Do you see what I'm doing, guys? Do you see how I'm repurposing this piece of content? I sent it to my email list, right? And they clicked on a link, and now they're on my Facebook wall, and they're watching this little four-minute video, right? And then what do I got? A call to action. It says, wait a minute, see it live. Because what I'm doing in this particular video is I'm inviting people to my live hangout. Come watch this live hangout. And then they click on this, and they see the, the latest webinar. They see the latest webinar right here. You see what I'm getting at, guys? Do you see, do you see how I'm repurposing this content? This is what you do with your Facebook walls. This is how you make your Facebook make a ton of money for you, okay? This is how it's done, guys. This is how the pros are doing it. It's not hard to do this. You can do the exact same thing, okay? I got some more content, some more videos. There's that video. There it is from 21 hours ago. There it is. I sent it to my email list. I repurposed it, okay? Now, what this is going to happen is now that my email list is getting this, it's going to kick it up on the feed all over again. It's going to get more views, Okay? And then over here, I'm inviting people to come to my Hangout, okay? And I'm inviting people to come to a live event right here. In this particular, uh, this was also a, an, an email that was sent out from my AWeber account, and you can have it posted onto your wall automatically as a feature back there. You can also have it go to your Twitter account, which I do. I have this go to my Twitter account, and I have it go to my Facebook account. But this is my wall. This is what I'm posting every day. You want to become a magnet of positivity, a magnet of positivity. There's no drama on my wall. There's no political bull crap on my wall. There's no just gloom and doom and all the bad things that are in the world that are happening. You know, I'm not ignorant to that stuff, guys. I know I know what's going on, sort of. I really don't know what's want, want to want to know what's going on because there's a lot of pain and suffering in the world. I don't want to live in that world, and I just it's not on my wall. I live a drama free life, guys, and. You can see what I'm posting on my walls, okay? It's not all links. It's not all it's not all business. I put a lot of funny, crazy stuff up and all that kind of cool stuff. And, you know, you can see a lot of this stuff, there's no links. There's no, hey, join my business. Hey, you know, there's there's not all of that. When you become a, a positivity magnet, people are going to seek you out. They're going to find your links. They're going to find your content. They're going to find your websites, they're going to find all that. And that's on here. I'm not saying it's not on here. It's definitely on here. But it's not 100%, hey, join my business, man. Just throw some value out there. Throw some, cause people to think bigger and do bigger and that kind of cool stuff. Lift people up and they're going to, they're going to flock to you. They are going to flock to you. They will chase you down. Hey, what are you doing, man? I, I want to see what you're doing. I want to do what you're doing, okay? All right, now let's go over to... Let's close this out. Let's close this out. Let's close this out. Okay, LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Here's what I do over at LinkedIn. Same thing. I'll, I'll post something. Let me grab something to post. Let me see if I got something I can post. Oh, these are some canned responses. I get a lot of – I can't type all day, guys. So I got a lot of stuff, and I just stick notes in here in a notepad. And this is just a lot of stuff that I'll – that I'll, I'll automatically just copy and paste because people ask me the same question over and over and over and over and over again. And 
you know, people ask me, hey, Frankie, how are you getting so many signups? Okay, I sent them right here. I sent them here. I sent them to this thing, okay? And people are like, and people spam me their, their offer. Hey, Frankie, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. You got to join. And then I send them this letter right here, okay? I have a reply for that stuff, okay? And then I've got um, people that are connecting with me. I, I invite them to my personal website, okay? Hey, it says, uh, uh, hello, I am looking to connect with other advertising and marketing professionals. Okay, here's a letter where I, I'm actually trying to connect to somebody else. Okay, and then I invite them to my website, or, or I just say, hey, my personal website is here, okay? So I got a lot of canned responses and such like that. And here's one, real simple. I'll just grab something like this. But but you guys see, I got a lot of this stuff already pre-written because I just it just makes things fast. And then a lot of this stuff is outdated. I'll delete it and reword it and all that kind of stuff. You know, I give away some free training for some uh, some Bitcoin wallet training. I give away some free training and all that kind of stuff. Here's some more Bitcoin wallet training uh, advertisements. But these are all pretty much advertisements that I'm putting on my walls, uh, my, my social media sites, and all that kind of cool stuff. And like I said, some of these are probably outdated. I'll delete them. I'll change them up. It's kind of like my notepad. It's ongoing notepad that I use um, for my social media profiles. Okay, This is my daily routine. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to go back over to LinkedIn. We're going to put down image. I'm going to go to images. I got some images already. I've got a bunch of images in here. Let's just grab something real quick. And this is my routine, guys. I'm going to give away some Bitcoin wallet training. Um, Let's see what I got here. Let's see what I got here. Let's see what I got here. Uh, Yeah, let's do this one right here. Let's do that one right there. Control Victor, I'm going to put in the advertisement. I'm going to hit post. Now, the same thing with LinkedIn. They want you to like, comment, and share. Now, LinkedIn, I really like. They've changed this thing up over the past, you know, in recent times. It's more like Facebook, and it's you scroll down, and you can, you, you know, you can like, comment, and share stuff, and you definitely want to engage with all these people. You get a notifications just like Facebook, you get this notification so you can see people that engage with you and that kind of stuff. Uh, you can click on my network. And the cool thing about this is Facebook really doesn't want you to have a lot of friends and a big following. What they really want is for them to make all the money off the advertising over there. <laughs> That's the truth, guys. But LinkedIn is the exact opposite. They want you to have a bunch of friends. You can see I got 6,283 friends over here on Facebook, and these people are friend requests. Now, I screen everybody. Now, this guy, Donald, usually if they don't have a picture of themselves, I'm not going to accept. But we have eight, uh, 88 uh, mutual connections, you know what I'm saying? So we're connect, we're in the same circles. So I'm going to accept Donald, and they want me to uh, uh, suggest people to for him. I'm just going to skip that. I don't want to do that, Okay. And let's see, Desiree, we've got 59 uh, mutual friends. I'm going to accept her. And let's see here, William. But I screen everybody. We've got 85 mutual friends. I'm going to accept him. Now, this guy has no picture. I'm not accepting. we got 136 mutual friends, but I don't care. If you're too lazy to have your own profile picture in there, you can kiss mine because I'm not, I'm not accepting you. Uh, let's see here. we got 33. I'm going to accept. I'm going to accept. Independent entrepreneur, absolutely. I'm going to accept. Let's see, Anna, Anna, we have 198 mutual people, so we're in the same circles, so I'm going to accept her too. Okay, now, see this right here? People that you may know, if you scroll down, it'll actually populate more, okay? And, and LinkedIn wants you to have lots of friends. You can see I got 6,289. Facebook limits us to having 5,000. Now, people you may know, may know if there's no picture, I'll just hit the X, no picture, I hit the X. But then I screen people. I screen everybody, and I read their profile, and I see if we have mutual friends, okay? Now, this gentleman is self-employed. We got 167 mutual friends, so I probably want to connect with this person. I'm going to hit connect, okay? And Laura, I'm looking at her stuff, educational entrepreneur. Okay, she's an entrepreneur like me, 39 mutual friends. I want to connect with her too. Now, this lady, Nancy, I don't know what she does, administrative assistant, executive legal, I don't want to connect with her. I mean, she might be an entrepreneur, but it doesn't sound like she is. So I'm going to screen my people, okay? I'm very particular who I uh, who I connect to. We got 53 mutuals. And also, uh, I look for, like, names that I know. Like this guy, air conditioning, I mean, no. Are you kidding me? 
so I screen everybody, guys. Now, I will see people in here that I recognize and I definitely want to connect to, and I'll just hit the connect button. But you screen through these and go through these and only connect with people that you want to connect to, okay? And, you know, you're going to make a lot of connections over here. This is just an awesome place to expand distribution. It's incredible. And they encourage it. They want you to be connected to a lot of people over here at this particular platform. This is a real good platform, guys. LinkedIn is awesome. You can meet a lot of really professional uh, advertisers, marketers, network marketers, affiliate marketers over here on this platform. And you're getting more high quality, I think. Uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. That's all I can tell you about it. Okay, Twitter. The same thing. I'm going to go ahead and post I'm going to post that same ad. I'm going to put the I'm going to put an image up. And let's see, I can just put up the same image, I guess, or something different. It don't matter. I usually put up the same images across all the platforms uh, daily. I'll just use the same image. I'm going to hit a tweet, and it goes out. Okay? And then the same thing. What they want you to do, they, they want you to like, comment, and share the same thing, guys. Rick Flair, there he is, nature boy. There, he's in North Carolina, man. He's down in Charlotte, not too far away from me. Uh, but, you know, like, comment, and share. Just things that you see that you like, comment, and they call it retweet. Share, same thing, the retweet button. But the same thing, there's Grant Cardone. They want they want engagement. Twitter wants engagement. And the more engagement and the more conversations you start over here and the retweets, the, the bigger your community is going to grow. Okay, I don't have time to really teach you guys how to – collect up friends and all that kind of stuff. I mean, each one of these is a video in itself, but I'm showing you guys my daily routine. Okay. Now let's go over to Instagram. Here's another good one. Oh, I love this Instagram. This is something that, uh, I really started to really get involved with Instagram, uh, in recent times too. It's another thing. I just, I didn't get it. Now I love this thing, man. I just, man, this thing is just awesome. It's kind of like the Facebook for pictures. Okay. Now here's what I do. Of course, you got to use your phone to put images on Instagram account, right? Now, when you, when you do this, First thing you do after you get your um, your image posts, like your own stuff, and then in this very first comment box, you, you want to put some hashtags. You can put 30 hashtags, okay? Let me show you what I do. I got some hashtags already pre-made, already pre-made. Let's see here. Let's see. Instagram. Let's go over into hashtags. And I've got a bunch of lists of hashtags, and I'm also working on some new lists. Okay, I'm working on new lists, and I'm just still working on this. i got a lot of work to do with this. I'm actually going to get this all cleaned up very soon and have some really good uh, hashtags for things that I want to rank for. But I've got some Bitcoin hashtags in this particular example. Okay. And you can see I got success tags and relationship tags and cash tags. And it depends on the subject matter. Like if, if I post something and it's Bitcoin related, I want to put Bitcoin tags on it. If it's, you know, like luxurious, uh, luxury houses or something like that, or, you know, I got I got house tags. I'm going to make a list that's going to be luxury tags and things that I post that are funny. I'm going to have that kind of stuff, comedy type tags. I got entrepreneur tags. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm just starting to organize this, okay, just to give you guys some example. I'm starting to organize this, and I'm going to get – I'm going to clean this up and make it a lot more organized. But I'm working on this, but I just haven't had time to really spend some time doing this. Now, what I'm going to go do is go back over to – I'm going to go back over to Instagram in that very first comment box, control Victor. I'm going to paste in those tags, okay? Now, you can put 30 tags in here. Now, you might be thinking, well, where do you get tags? I'll show you in a minute. Or how can you come up with the tags? Now, I'm going to show you that stuff in a second. Now, if you really want to dominate on Instagram, you're going to have to spend some time over here, okay? I'm not kidding you. When I mean time, I mean time. What you really want to do, and this might seem crazy, but it works. I know it works. Everybody tells you it works. The experts, the Instagram experts, the influencers over here will tell you it works because they do it. They click on every single one of these tags, 30 of them, one at a time. I'm going to click on Bitcoin. And what they will do is they will engage in most of these posts. They will like, comment, all this craziness. These are the ones that are, you can see right here, top posts top posts these are the ones that right now they're the top posts for instagram i mean i'm sorry for the for the hashtag bitcoin for the hashtag bitcoin these are the top posts right now okay and then you could click on it like it you can put a comment in there right and this is what they want you to do they want you to engage okay all that kind of cool stuff okay they want you to click on this stuff they want you to like it they want you to engage okay and the more you do this 
the bigger following you're going to get. And that's just the bottom line. That's the way it works. Okay? And then your stuff will probably start ranking up here. Okay? It'll, it will. As a matter of fact, it will start ranking up here. It's only a matter of time. It'll start ranking up here. And then most recent posts will come up and all that kind of stuff. And then you got to hit the back button. And then you go to the next one. And the same thing. Start all over again. Okay? You have to spend time. It'll take you 30 minutes to do one post over here at Instagram if this is the place that you want to dominate. You're going to have to spend time over here and just engage in all this content. You're going to have to do it. Okay? And if you do it, well, then you'll dominate Instagram for, you know, if this is the platform that you want to dominate. You'll start you'll start building up a massive uh, following over here. Okay? If you start to come over here and like stuff and comments are very important. Okay? I try and put four words minimum in the comment box. Okay? And all that kind of cool stuff. You don't have to write no book or anything like that. Um, but that's how it works, guys, okay? And like I said, it'll probably take you 30 minutes just to do one post because you got to go through all of these. You know, Bitcoin News will be the next one. You see what I'm getting at, guys? It's going to take you some time to go through all this, man. Take you a long time to go through all this, okay? But that's how you – engagement is what, the, is what they want. That's what they want you to do. Now, when researching hashtags, let me just type in Bitcoin just as an example. You can see – it's going to give you some suggestions, and you can see, like Bitcoin, and I always try and get uh, get the tags that are getting lots of posts. Like people, 1.1 1. Uh, 1 million people are using this hashtag, so that's the one that I want to use. Bitcoins, 155,000, that's a good size audience, okay? Uh, Bitcoiner, that's a small audience. You may or may not want that one. It all depends on your strategy. Uh, if, you're, if you try to get in front of these massive audiences, Try and stay above 50,000 or more. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it all depends on your strategy, what you're trying to do. If you're trying to dominate a certain thing like Bitcoin, well, then maybe you want to use all these tags because these are the tags that are related to Bitcoin. Okay? Let's type in something else. Let's type in this. This will uh, give you, uh, uh, help you come up with a list of 30 tags. Okay? I typed in success. And then, you know, success is getting 28 million, success quotes, successful. You see what I'm getting at? This successful mind is getting 504,000 or successful mindset. I'm sorry. Uh, success tip is getting 54,000 posts. Success tips is getting 274. So here's where you're going to get your tags from. Make a list of 30. You can make a list of success tag uh, tags. And if you have a success photo, We'll match the photo to your tag list and then tag your photo. Put those 30 tags underneath in that first comment box because they're related to your content. Okay? That's how it works, man. Instagram is pretty simple. It's not complicated. But you got to spend time, guys. Well, like all these sites, you've got to spend time. There's no, there's no shortcuts. There's no automation. There's no software. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to spend massive time over here if you want to dominate this platform. And that's all of them. Okay, I don't spend a lot of time over here at Google+, Plus, but I will put up some stuff. I got a small audience over here, a couple thousand people. Um, we don't want to put my tags in there. Now, you can put tags in these other, these other ones. I didn't really show it. I don't really, tag a, 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 I don't really put that big tag mess uh, on the other sites, but I will tag everything on Instagram. I always tag. You can put a couple tags in Twitter in your Twitter, your Twitter post. If I wanted to put a couple tags in here, I could have, but I, I don't really need to do it. Um, you can do it. It's, it's, you know, it's your own personal preference if you want to put tags and such or not. You can put tags in Facebook if you want, but uh, I think it looks too cluttered. I think it looks too messy. It doesn't look that clean, so I don't do it a lot. I do it sometimes, though. I do, I do it sometimes. Um, let's go back over to our notes. Let's put up that Bitcoin training. We want to give away that Bitcoin training, and this is part of my daily routine. Now, I have I'll, I'll post multiple things. Like, this is not the only thing that I will post today, but this is, you know, for training purposes. I'm just going to show you one thing that I'm putting up today. But I'll put up multiple things. They like when you space out your stuff. Um, if you just come over to these sites and put up five posts and then just leave, they do not like that, man. They just don't like when you do that. They know when you do that, and they don't like it, man. Facebook doesn't like it. Just none of these... Media sites, they don't like it. They don't like when you do that stuff. They want you to spend time over here. They want you to engage. They want you to plus. They want you to like. They want you to share. It's what they want you to do, guys. And, you know, the same thing. I'll come down. I'll like some things. And, you know, all that kind of cool stuff. 
And the same thing. They want you to put comments. They want you to share things. It's the same thing, guys. All these platforms are the same. They want you to engage. It's what they want from you. Okay, so give them what they want. They'll give you what you want. You'll expand your distribution. And this is why I'm telling you, you got to pick one. You really got to pick one of these, whichever is your favorite, whether it be, I'm going to suggest Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Facebook. This is what I'm going to suggest, okay? You pick the one that you like the best. That's the one you want to spend the most time on, okay? Now, I would recommend posting to all of them. I would recommend uh, uh, spending a little bit of time on each of these, absolutely a little bit of time on each of these. And there might be other ones I'm not talking about that you're into. Spend time there, too. I, I'm just... I'm not going to cover all the bases, guys. I'm showing you this works for all of them. It doesn't really matter. They all work the same way. And um, time on site and engagement, that's what they want from you. But this is what this is the way it works, guys. And then, you know, uh, I, I'd keep these open, too. Also, keep these open. The longer you keep them open, the better because it's time on site. They know you're logged in. Twitter knows I'm logged in right now, okay? They know I'm logged in. They're, they're, they know to the second. Same thing with Facebook. They know They know I'm logged in right now. OK, and then you're going to get messages. You're going to want to answer your, your messages and all these sites. And I will answer these messages. A lot of times I'll I'll have pre-written notes. It depends what the question is. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of times I have pre, pre-written canned responses that I'll send to people. And, you know, I've got other ads I'll put up throughout the day. I've got some other things I'll put up. I promote my website. You know, I promote uh, some different offers that I'm promoting, power lead system, et cetera, et cetera. I'll promote some different things. But. That's pretty basic. That's pretty much my daily routine. Uh, I'll spend a lot of time engaging, engaging over here in, in, in your community and your audience. They want you to engage, guys. You're, 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 you're following your distribution network, the people that are connected to you. They want to see you on these profiles. They want to see your content. They want to talk with you. They want to, a lot of these people want to meet you in person. And you will get a chance to meet these people in person when you go to live events and such, which is awesome. But, you know, it's kind of like a its own little family, its own little network, and you want to bring more and more people into your circle, into your tribe, and constantly build up that distribution network with these social media sites. And I showed you guys how this really all connects together. I showed you through email marketing how you can send people right back over here and send people to your, you know, your live video that you did, right? That example I showed you with um, this email that I sent out this morning, right? I sent them right back over to my live and this just feeds the fire, okay? Because now people on my list, I'm telling them, hey, you know, you're on my list, but maybe we're not connected on Facebook. Well, how about sending me a friend request? And I actually say that in this video. I say it. I think I say it more than once. I know I say it. In this video, I say, hey, if we're not connected on Facebook, send me a friend request right now. I'm expanding my distribution network. Nobody does this stuff, guys. Nobody even teaches this stuff, man. That's the whole purpose of this course, okay? Okay. This is how I'm doing it. This is how we are doing it. This is how we are dominating. Tell people to connect with you. Tell them. And then I wrote it down. Send me a friend request. And then what do I do? Hey, here's another piece of live content. Here's my webinar. Here's my latest webinar. You see how it all links together? Your Facebook, your email marketing, and your um, all this stuff, it all links together, guys. It's all linking together. How come I can't pull that piece of content? Oh, here it is. It's right here. Yeah, it, this all links together. Your Facebook... Your email marketing and your live events all link together. There it is. This is distribution on steroids, guys. This is the real deal. This is how it's do- I'm doing it. This is how the seven-figure earners are doing it, okay? It's not rocket science. It's a simple routine. You lock in this routine, and you will dominate too. I promise you that, my friend. All right, that's going to conclude this, fr- this training. Frank Calabra, Jr., signing off. Thank you.